Hello everyone, Josh here from Netmark.com. I'm here today to give a quick tutorial on keyword intelligence for free users. You'll notice that right here it says that I have five keywords remaining for today. Free users actually have ten, but I've already ran five through the tool on a previous demo and only have five left. If you'd like to run more than ten keywords on a given day, you'll have to upgrade to a premium account. We'll start the demo by going to the AdWords keyword tool, but before we type in any keywords, I want to point out to you that I am logged in. If I'm not logged in, there's a few pieces of information that Google will not provide to you that you'll need to run the tool. You'll also want to make sure that you have all three match types selected. And then lastly, you want to make sure that keyword ideas is selected by default. So we're going to go ahead and type in some keywords. We'll use Netmark as a test subject. I'm just going to type in some crazy kind of random keywords so that you could get a good feel for the tools. Okay, I've got three keywords entered in here. I'm going to go ahead and hit search. You'll notice right off the bat that Google returned nine results rather than the three that we started with. And the reason that they did that is they got all three terms and then they got all three match types. Broad, exact, and phrase for each term. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and hit save all. That'll save all nine keywords. And then if you wanna add any additional terms, you're free to do so. Just make sure that you select all three match types if you do so. so I'm gonna select this, this, and this. Telephone service providers. Okay, that gives us a total of 12. That's fine, even though it says that we have five remaining, it means five actual keywords or 15 different variations. So we're well within our limits here. I'm gonna go ahead and hit download. Okay, you wanna make sure that you're doing a CSV, not CSV for Excel, TSV, XML, or GZIP CSV. CSV is the only format that works with this iteration of our tool. Okay, we have that downloaded. Now we'll switch over to Keyword Intelligence. Now that we're back to Keyword Intelligence, we're going to start by typing in the target URL. You can include the HTTP if you'd like, or you don't have to. You can include www, or you don't have to either. Whichever way you feel most comfortable is fine. We'll go ahead and we'll find the CSV that we just uploaded here, and select Open then generate report. Okay, it looks like the tool is done running. We've got our keywords here in the left column. GGMSV, that stands for Google Global Monthly Search Volume in column two. The next column we have GLMSV, that's Google Local Monthly Search Volume. Then the cost per click, the competition level, the keyword value, SEO clout scores, social media clout scores, rankability, and seasonality. Lastly, we have information about the URL that was entered into the keyword tool. We have rankability, SEO clout, and social media clout for the URL. And in this example, it was netmark.com. We have a rankability of 56.67, an SEO clout of 58.27, and a social media clout of 39.43. Now, if you want to know what each of these columns means, you can hover over each section and it will give you a brief description of what that section is specifically measuring. See that we have that for every single column here. You are always able to access uh, old reports. Just go over to this section here and where it says select an option, just select that, find a previous report and hit generate report. Uh, you'll notice right here that we have one keyword remaining. Tonight at midnight that will reset and I'll have 10 left the next day. And then I'm also able to change my match type to any match type I would like. We can use phrase, or we can go to broad, and you can export a CSV and have a permanent record on your computer. Now, I will be explaining each of these columns in detail in a future video. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and that you get some good use out of our keyword tool. Thanks for watching this tutorial on keyword intelligence.